fact, you are taking a somewhat similar, uh, uh, you're, you're trying to address a somewhat similar question, but you're trying to develop new catalytic pathways, new technologies yeah. to it. And so maybe talk a little bit about some specific questions or some specific applications for your technologies yeah. in the space. Yeah, so, uh, so I'll speak a little bit about um, what we're doing in terms of the in terms of the heat path product what we're looking at there are uh, other ways to perhaps not start from co2 and water because i'll agree when you start with the end products and work back <laughs> that that's a you're always going uphill from an energy standpoint um, and we have done, been looking at are there ways to improve the utilization of co2 as a reactant uh, in processes where your end goal is to have uh, a higher a sin gas that has a higher carbon content in it, are there ways to incorporate that CO2 as a reactant in those processes? So, looking at uh, not necessarily a pure dry reforming sort of approach to making sin gas, but one that utilizes a blend of CO2 and and hydrogen or and water. Um, those sorts of things have been enabled by some of the, the thermal supports that uh, the control technology we've been looking at. Um, in terms of other things that we're looking at, I mean, we definitely are working on the, uh, on the same issues of high temperature electrolyzer development and the energy efficiencies in those cases can be, you know, it's better than uh, the energy efficiencies you see for electricity, but there's a big heat component there. You know, those systems work at much higher temperatures. So figuring out, are there scenarios where that integrates better with downstream and provides an advantage to you know, manufacturers is an important part of what we're looking at in that space. And, and the high temperature electrolyzer technologies are predominantly solid oxide. Based. Yeah, yeah, for the most part. I mean, we, we have uh, a lot of uh, technologies based on the same ionic con conducting uh, ceramics that are in solid oxide fuel cells. Um, there are other variants that try to bring that operating temperature down to get it to a sweet spot where you're getting the benefit of high temperature without um, the extreme temperatures of, of some of the platforms that are that are out there uh, now. Um, but by and large, yeah, they're ceramics.